All right, here we are with more Mega Man Maker. Sneaking to Snake Man Space, created by Metehon Doiran. Um, yeah, I got his name right. Can you believe it? Believe. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Once again, like, I seriously apologize, you guys. Like, I fucked up, you know, the Road Rebel Gang video, you know, song quality. And, yeah, a whole bunch of other videos got fucked up in the audio quality as well, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry, but... Uh, there, yeah, the following few videos will, won't be a blind playthrough. Like, uh, I'm just going to have to sit down and record all of them. And, you know, it's due to my own sloppiness, you know, not checking the freaking... Capture software properly before starting to record and so you know I just hit and play and you know being very sloppy about it and yeah Now the audio is all effed up and Yeah It's a crying shame because I had some really funny interactions with Some of especially with some of Metehan Doirian's or Doirian's stage here um, Like <laughs> yeah uh, You'll see what I mean he yeah he, he actually has a stage submitted to me where he's using uh, some text editing there and yeah, I, I actually got a few really good laughs out of that stage. That was a really cool stage, probably my one of the cooler stages I've seen in a while, but just like from a fun perspective. That was, yeah, a great, great, great level. This stage here from Metehan is not shabby either, it's just a, you know, standard traditional Snake Man level here. It's pretty nice actually. Pretty hard too, you have to be... Yeah, you have to pull off some pretty tricky jumps here, but yeah, I know how to do it. Um, <laughs> I know what to do it. I already did it. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. Just gotta move fast. Oh yeah, like <laughs> I remember this. This room actually got me a few times. Oh my! Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Oh! And yeah. Another thing that happened, like, I jumped through here and I kind of glitched through the wall there, I remember. When I was playing this blind. But yeah, um... <laughs> I guess I'll just cut back. See you there in a sec. Alright, here we are back here again. Can we do it? Uh, oh, okay! Oh my god! What the heck? How the hell does... The Gemini laser bounce off a sperm egg, you know? <laughs> Just think about that for a second. How does that even happen? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Finally, back in here. And I think I had a genius idea here. We're just going to... Yeah, why did I just... Why did, in the holy heck did I just knew, not do that the first time? That was... Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Go. Just gotta sap him there. But yeah, like, I definitely do like this level. It feels very, you know, snake man -y. Has a pretty nice feel to it. Oh yeah, and I actually remember something now, like a part in the upcoming, uh, a upcoming part in the stage here looks quite nice as well. Uh, hmm. There we go. There she blows! Dude, that was, <laughs> that was very close. Oh yeah, and this here. This here is also very snake manic. You know, these guys here. Coming here. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting owned by them. Just absolutely trashed. Mm hmm. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, the Yemeni laser is quite nice at dealing with these guys. And I guess we could just. <laughs> Some nice top spin usage there. I guess it would be just be easier to use Rush Coil to get up out this series, so I'm gonna do it. I don't think I. Oh my god. Nah, no, I'm using Rush Coil. <laughs> uh, in my original playthrough, I definitely did not use the top spin there, but yeah, I just got a silly idea there. There and then. Wanted to try it out. Yeah, this series also a very. Looking room. I believe a room like this existed in the original Mega Man 3 game, but we had one of those hammer yo standing here and throwing hammers instead of that little eye guy down there. Yeah, I don't have very much experience with Mega Man 3. You know, I have some, but 
by no means am I a master at it. <laughs> I don't know it inside and out, but I do recall, you know, rooms and stuff like that from the game if I see them. I might do a playthrough of Mega Man 3 at some point here on my channel, that would be pretty nice. Although it probably won't be a buster only on all the bosses, because, yeah, I can't do that on Mega Man 3, I only can do that on 2 and 4. Yeah. Oh, well, here, anyway, we have the pretty nice part, the pretty nice looking part here in the stage. I definitely like how we have, you know, all those uh, inside rooms there and now you're out here, you know, it's, yeah, it feels very fresh here. Having it get a little bit brighter. Whoa! Oh my god, dude! That guy was sneaky! Oh jeez. Oh crap! Run! Oh my! Oh my! Oh joy, joy! Dude, that was close! I don't remember it being that hard! <laughs> I also got unlucky there on my first playthrough or something, because I don't remember that being hard at all, but it almost got me that time. What the heck? Oh, that's right, there is no boss in here. That's right, I forgot. Huh. But yeah, pretty sweet stage. You know what? Um, let us just go in here and, you know, we will do... Breeze Man. Yeah, this was the other stage submitted to me by Master48 here. And yeah, this stage is hella good. I really like this one. So yeah, I'm just going to <laughs> jump in and do this one again now, directly after here. So yeah. You know, snake, sneaking into Snake Man's level there, awesome stage, cool traditional feeling to it. You know, uh, some nice visuals there and pretty cool enemy placements and all of that good stuff. But yeah, enough of that. Let's just let's just get into Breeze Man. Let's get into the really good stuff here. <laughs> so yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> 